you had two Kemets. You had the priest and you had the everyday citizen. Mm -hmm. The everyday citizen would virtually, basically, relate to the same entities or the deities as we do now in the form of the religion. It wouldn't be so much dogmatic into they wouldn't have all this sense of you going to hell and everything is based on you being this wretch and stuff. But they use the netters as a central inspiration and a, a God to focus around, or entities to focus around as everyday worship in life. You see what I'm saying? For a spiritual purpose. The priest understood it on another higher level. But the initiate in Rudolf Steiner's book called Cosmic Hierarchies, he got he has an excellent part in there. And he talks about how the initiates would go into the would go into the mystery system and for 30 years of their life Everything was centered around the gods, and they would believe that the gods were these entities that ruled over their life. And then at age 30, they would come and say, you know them, those gods? They were once human like we were. And what this would do the initiate would have to get over that fact. I've been worshiping these gods for 30 years. And now I find out that not only are they are, are, are people like I am, but I too have the potential of those gods. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, that's what my training is to become gods. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. If you want to use another word, become one with the ultimate principle in the universe. Mm -hmm. So why would they wait till he's 30? First of all, you must understand that they tell him to worship this thing in a certain severe way and then tell him that not only is it an ancestor but it's also a form of him and we are all connected in one what this would actually do the first thing it would do is it would it, 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 it would be a, a shock and amazement and he would have to deal with that the other thing he should understand is he the same energy that he thought it was so important that these other entities rule over his life also would tell him that in some way what I'm just as important and in so many words he will understand the mass responsibility and just how important he is. So on one aspect priest life was different than the masses life. Now there's a central theme in all ancient mythology, ancient systems, is you take a small group of people and they will rule the many. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But in our civilization, because it was run by the priesthood, most of the time, and even that breaks down at times, you rule to give these people a sense of a sense of nourishment in life. So ours was ruled on a certain divine order. Later on the Moors taught the Europeans the same principle and now they rule to exploit people for their own capital gains and their own power. You see what I'm saying? To continue. 
But the universal principle is the priest's life was different than the everyday citizen. Although you must understand that even these everyday citizens of Kemet still deal on another spiritual level mentally than we do now. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, we could somewhat say that Egypt wasn't the, although it was physical, it was another type of physical. It was not even in the same dimension that we are now. 